Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So Christmas is coming up and I got these acrylic star ornaments from Michaels. I think they're super cute. And I thought this would be really cool because I could do a pour on one side and it will look totally different on the other side because it's clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the strings because I don't wanna paint those. I'm gonna tape off one side and then I'll be right back and I'm doing three. One for me, one for my husband, one for my daughter. So we'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and taped off the backs. I ended up just using packing tape, so you can't really see it. Definitely, probably not the best, but I think it will do the trick. So we'll see. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paints. This, I got that little kit that comes with these little bottles. It comes with basically all cool tones except for this red. So I think I'm going to do, even this white is a metallic white. I'm going to do my, one of my favorite Christmas color schemes, which is blue and silver. So this is a darker blue. This one, they call bright blue, but it's pretty dark. And then silver, so it's gonna have quite a bit of metallic in here. And then we're gonna add some turquoise. And I feel like that blue is dark enough that I don't need to add black, but maybe just a smidge. And I do mean a smidge. Okay, I'm gonna just unscrew the tops here. So I'll go with more metallic white. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. Obviously don't need this much paint just to cover the ornaments, but we need to also cover the canvas, so. Let's go ahead and use lots of silver. And I'll do just a little bit more turquoise and that should be plenty. Okay. So I don't want these ornaments just sitting flat on the canvas, so I have actually some little bottle caps I'm just gonna prop them up on. And I'm trying to decide, I think I might add our names to these, but I don't know. All right, I'm gonna pour carefully so that I don't knock them off of those little bottle caps. Plus, I want to get all the colors on all of the ornaments. So because of how the paint is layered in the cup. If I pour too quickly, then we'll just get kind of all one color on there. Nice. So let's see if we can get these ornaments fully covered without any tilting. I'm definitely still gonna tilt the canvas. There we go, I think I actually got them. Cool. Oh, <laughs> missed one little corner over here. Okay. So I'm gonna carefully lift these off and move them off to my the side with these little bottle caps still. All right, and now we tilt. So I always do the round plastic ornaments at Christmas time. I just thought that this could be something cool, something a little different. I will still be doing more of those coming up. It's plenty of time till Christmas. <laughs> And if you guys have any other suggestions actually for kind of like Christmas type projects that you would like to see, let me know. I'll be doing some more resin ornament videos as well. well this is definitely super funky. Look at that. 
All right. So one of the great things about this particular paint is that it has like a lot of depth and also it dries super duper duper shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave this at, at this point and then we're gonna come back tomorrow once I have peeled, I'll peel the tape off and I'll go ahead and attach the ribbons back so we can see how those look. Well, I might not attach the ribbons back, but I'll at least peel the tape off and then we'll do our close up on the canvas as well. So see you back tomorrow. All right, so we're back. These are not fully dry, but they're dry enough. Um, so here's one of the ornaments. I love how these came out. You can kind of see the depth and the texture of that paint. Now remember, I didn't tilt these at all. So it was left with a pretty thick layer of paint on there. The tape worked very well. So you can see no um, drip marks or anything on the back here. I have a little part of tape that I have to get off. Uh, and so we got two different designs. I still do need to clean up the sides. I think I'm gonna take probably an X-Acto knife and then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna paint these sides this same silver, put our names on them and the year, seal them and put the ribbon back in. So that's gonna take a, a few weeks. I'm gonna let these dry fully, fully, fully before doing all of that. But let's go ahead and do a close up on the painting and all three of the stars. All right, we'll start with the canvas. So definitely pretty funky due to how I poured across these. So we got some really fun lines and patterns. And this paint dries very glossy. So it's not completely dry, but it's mostly dry. And you can kind of see at an angle there, it's just super glossy. So there's our painting. And here are the three stars. So I think I'll let my daughter and husband pick out which ones they want. I'll take the third one and we'll have some fun custom family ornaments. So there you guys go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you all next time.